Josh, pharmacist with PharmacistTips.com. Going to show you the True Metric 60 meter, uh, glucose meter. It actually is um, called the True Metrics Go, but myself and many other people read that as True Metric 60. But if you look really close, it's actually True Metrics Go. But uh, we're going to call it True Metric 60 because, uh, like myself, many people search for the machine based on the their belief that that's a 60 and not a go. But it's a really nice, it's a small meter, uh, easy to use. It's a companion meter either to the TrueMetrix Air or the regular TrueMetrix. You can use it standalone or in conjunction with those as they all three of those meters use the same TrueMetric test strips. So some of the features of the TrueMetrix 60 or the TrueMetrix Go, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's very, very small, very portable. It actually fits right on to the top of the bottle of test strips. You just kind of put that in, the lid in there, and it clicks on there like that. The lip clicks under the under the meter like that. And there you have your test strips, your meter, and you can put on this little sleeve that comes with it as well. And you can carry along your Lancet device with you. So right there in that small, easy to carry package. You have your Lancet device, your test strips, and your meter ready to go. Um, a reading uh, is pretty simple. You just take out a test strip. Insert that right into the meter. The meter will come on and showing the time and then once the drop of blood is flashing it is ready for a reading so the Lancet device used to <clears throat> just unscrews the top there you put your Lancet device or the Lancet in there you remove the blue top you can screw it back on can you get adjust it to your preferred depth. Usually somewhere in the middle is the best place to start. Once you pull on that, the spring is loaded and when you press on that, it will lance. So um, make sure your hands are uh, washed with warm soapy water and that they're clean. You put that right on there. And there's our drop of blood. And we go ahead, our meter is still prompting us that on there beginning to take our reading there we go all right remove that and that turns off the meter a few features you can press the button once and it will uh, bring on your last reading you can push through the buttons to go through previous historical readings. It is nice. This machine only has one button. If you just let it, the power will go off or you can hold it. And then the power is off. Now to set the uh, date and time, you just hold the button until it comes on. flashing there at tw the 12 p.m. is flashing so we can push that until we get so we, right there is 4 p.m. and then we just wait for it to go to the minutes because there's only one button on here so we have to give it a, a moment to go to the next now it's to the minutes we can push that to the minutes we desire and we just wait for that to the date or the month and then again you have to wait five to ten seconds for it to go on to the next field which is the date field so just keep pushing through there until we get to the date our current date and just 
wait for it to go on to the next. Okay, and then we can set the year. Whatever year we are in. And then let that go on to the next. go so we can show our date and time that we just set and it's all ready and the power goes off and now you're ready to um, use the meter okay let's look at uh, changing the battery of course we're going to need to remove it from the bottle of test strips and the battery is just it's a little tray that holds the battery underneath and you just need to slide that out it's near the, the power button so right there is the power button. We just pull out that tray. That's our 2032 there. We replace that in the same manner that it's seated in there and put it back in. And then we're ready to go.